Alright, this is a uh, Rainbow Dash 7X here, and this is my uh, alarm panel I made. It's a fire alarm only panel. So, I'm just going to give you a little bit of an overview. So first off, it's still on a breadboard, but it is fully functional right now. So eventually I'm going to get a circuit board printed for it. It's soldered on, but for now it's just on a breadboard. So it's all based off of an Arduino Nano. AT Mega 328P, I believe, microcontroller on there. And it is fully operational as a fire alarm panel. It does not support two wire smoke detectors yet, but it's going to be card based when I mount it in this. It's not going to be this enclosure. I'm going to, like, make an enclosure for it, but it's going to be card based. So, uh, the expansion card so far is a two wire smoke detector card. And then a, uh, the, uh, what you call it, is resettable power card, and the relay card. And then I'm going to make an enunciator for it, but I haven't made that yet. However, when I show you in a moment, it will say enunciator initializing uh, when I reset it. So, for notification appliance, we have a Gentex SHG. It's not going to be sounding, it's just going to be the strobe, because it's a little bit late right now. And... It's just loud as heck as well. So I'd prefer not to hear that right now. But eventually I will, when I get this all mounted on the wall and print it on a PCB and stuff, I will actually set off alarms with it. It's going to turn on the strobe, but for now it won't, it's not going to alert. And then I don't have a pull station available right now because it is inaccessible. So right now I just have that variable, that little potentiometer on there acting as an end of line resistor. So. To demonstrate the trouble, I'm going to just disconnect one of those leads to show it is open. And when I demonstrate alarm, I'll just touch them together. So, over here is a display, which the system is normal, Rainbow Dash 7X. There's a speaker. And we have a microcontroller, and over here we have four buttons. The top one is our acknowledge button. This one is a menu button, however, we do not have a menu yet. That is a silence button. That is a reset button. And we have a power LED, silenced LED, alarm LED, and trouble LED. So now, uh, let's let's show you the startup sequence. I apologize if you can't see the display too good, but I'm just going to press the reset button here. And this is what it'll look like when you first power it up. It says power check. And then we have a smoke detector delay for the two-wire smoke detector module. We'll still be resetting at that time. And then back to normal. So now I'm going to show you. I'm going to uh, just reset it to reset. If you just push it, it doesn't reset. As a safety feature, I added you have to hold the reset button for one second. System reset in progress, and does a little lamp test real quick there. So that... Uh, first tone is, that's when you push a button, and that's the reset completed tone. Now, if you press the menu button for now, oh wait, we got to wait for the smoke detector delay. Okay, if you press the menu button right now, it says menu is not implemented yet. It's because I have not made a menu system on this yet, but I will in the future. So, let's demonstrate, let's do the trouble first. So if I disconnect that, you will see. System trouble, act to check. So I press acknowledge. We have loop trouble on zone one. This is a three zone panel, however, I have not coded for zones two or three yet. Just zone one. But in the future that would show the zone in trouble. So now if we reconnect it. not clear until we reset, so let's reset. Oh yeah, and here's our little trouble LEDs on. So let's reset it. Okay. Gotta wait for the smoke detector delay one again. 
when I get more microcontrollers, I can make modules for it. But I'm not going to do that until I make an enclosure that can actually hold modules. Alright. So, now I'm going to demonstrate just going into alarm. Now, I apologize, the alarm tone that this emits out of that speaker is quite loud. Here we go. We have system fire alarm, acknowledge to check, so I press that. Zone 1, alarm primary. That will be for a two-stage operation. It'll say secondary if, uh, once I get the two-stage set up. That's pretty much just like a verification, but for now it's just going to say primary. And now we, uh, it's not audible silence, it's still the NAC is active. So if I press silence, see our alarm LED's on, press silence. Relay clicks, turns off the NAC. And silence in system. Yes, I know that that came from a Simplex 4010. And I kind of copied the Simplex 4010 in a way. I'll show you at the very, very end what I mean by that. This isn't going to be the final display for this, I don't think. But now we see uh, power uh, silenced and... Or no, that's alarm silenced and power. There we go. So now, uh, zone 1 alarm primary remains. So now if I reset it... So I didn't completely copy the Simplex 4010 as you can tell, but I'll show you what I'm going to, uh, what I'm going to change about this that uh, I haven't really seen on many panels except the Simplex 4010. So now let me demonstrate something. Previously, on one of my other videos, when I sh showed it go into trouble, I had to reset it, because if the zone was in trouble, it would not go into alarm if you put the zone into alarm. But now... Let's put it in trouble real quick. There's a little few extra lines of code, so if I do activate the zone, we will go into alarm. And there's the Gentex SHG flashing. That is a very bright strobe, by the way. It doesn't look bright on camera, but that is blinding. Relay clicks off, silence and system, and zone one alarm primary. So let's reset now. All right. So that is my alarm panel for now. Oh, you know, I guess I'll show you something. I'll show you how I'm powering it. I'm actually pow powering the alarm panel off a computer power supply. Here's a flashlight. Here we go. Actually, see, that's just a standard ATX power supply wired to my power. That's how I'm powering it. And what I'm gonna I'm gonna show you that display that I don't see on many panels except the Simplex ones is the 40 by 2 lines display. So that, I think, is going to be my final display if I can get it working. The only problem right now is that is a weird connector. But yeah, that should be my display at the end. And I do have a question. Before I get that display working, would you rather see the panel have that LCD on it? Or vacuum fluorescent display? So vacuum fluorescent display is one of these. Like the ones on Radionics keypads. Would you rather see vacuum fluorescent or that LCD? Uh, just let me know. And here we are, powered down. So you can see microcontroller better. Got the blaring LED on there. display and relay module and here's our LEDs
Those are just shoved right in the breadboard. So yeah, that's my alarm panel for now, and hopefully soon, uh, I'll probably put it on perforated board before I put it on a, uh, a PCB, but when I put it on perforated board, I'm going to have two boards. One is going to be the processor board that will have this on it, and the relays and stuff, like the trimmer pots and the other passive components, like that transistor over there. And uh, the like I.O. board will have the display and the buttons and the LEDs. So yeah, hopefully soon I can get it transferred to something more permanent, but for now, that is my alarm panel.